for Aspire and VCarve Pro, I'm going to do a simple VCarve sign. I'm going to be using uh, three bits. I'll be using a quarter inch end mill, a 60 degree V bit or conic, and a 1 16th inch end mill. For the first part of this, I've, I've already got an ellipse and the name Jonah here, so I need to create an inside boundary here. So for that, I'm going to do a 0.5 inch inward offset from this outer line. That creates my inside boundary. So I will close that, come over to path creation. I will select create v-carve. Here and I want to select these. I will calculate and you can see what that does. If we zoom in though, you can see that it leaves some rough areas in between where it tried to take everything out with the V-bit because the larger clearance tool was too big to get inside here. So what I want to do is get in there and clean that out with a smaller tool. In order to do that, I go to here, I select the Jonah, I want to do an outside offset of 0.1. I will select everything, go in and turn off this, I'm going to do another outside offset of this one here, a 0.2, and now I will just select it, this, 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 and this. I will go close, come back over to my tools, I will do a create pocket toolpath. And in this I'm going to use my 1 16th inch end mill. Calculate. And you can see that it's gone in and cleaned that out. And if we turn those off for a second, you can still see that rough in there. If I turn them back on and I preview visible toolpath. Watch it clean it out. And that's how you would clean that out. I'll go close. I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to select my outside ellipse. I will this time I will go to create profile toolpath. I'm going to a cutting depth of 0.75. I'm still going to use my quarter inch end mill. I will add tabs, go to edit tabs, I'll do a constant four. So I go add tabs, I go close, and calculate. Now I will preview that. see that it is cut out. Close. I go to Save Toolpath. I want to select all of them because I'm doing this on a tool changer. I 
I select the post processor that I want to use. In my case, I'm doing it on Win CNC and just save toolpath. I give it the name that I want. I click save. And it's done. And that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you.